Thank you for joining us on Everyday Mexican. Today we're going to be making guacamole. It's a delicious dip that's been known worldwide for its creaminess, thickness, and just plain old deliciousness. The ingredients you're going to need today are four to five avocados, depending on how big your party is, four serrano peppers, one to two limes, depending on your preference, one red onion, one medium sized ripe tomato, one bunch of fresh cilantro. And last but not least, salt and pepper. You always want to make sure everything is nicely seasoned. So now, we're going to go ahead and begin prepping, dicing, cutting the ingredients. We're going to start off with the onion. So we're going to begin by just cutting the two stems off, or not the stems, but the, um, the ends off of the onion. And we're just going to peel it back. And um, you always want to remove the first layer because the first layer it tends to be a little bit sticky and leaves a, almost a film-like residue behind. So now we're going to go ahead and dice it. So we're just going to make some cuts in, into the onion. Now we're going to take our onion and we're going to add it into our bowl. And in order to get that paste like texture, we're now going to add salt. And this is going to create a paste like. It's going to, it's going to help the onion become more paste like. So we're going to take our um, pestle. We're just going to grind it in our bowl. All right, so it looks like we've now achieved our pasty mixture, and this is what it's. You know, this is what um, it should look like for those of you that have this. Um, uh, for those that just have Tupperware, again, just chop it up; it should be fine. Uh, we're going to move on, and we're going to now add our peppers. So we're going to take these ends off here. And we're also going to take the bottom ends off here. Going to take each pepper and we're going to cut it down the middle. Recuerdo los momentos tan bonitos. La noche que los dos nos conocimos. El gusto nos entró por la mirada. Okay, so now we're just going to take it, place it under our knife, and we're going to transfer it to our bowl. Alright, so now that we've got our peppers mixed up, we're going to grab our coriander or our cilantro, uh, whichever name you prefer. Uh, this has been pre-washed, and we're going to use about half of this bunch, so you can use the other half for later. This goes well with uh, salsa, soups, We're going to go ahead and remove the stems, set these aside, that'll go in the trash for later. And you just kind of want to wrap it up in your hand and just give it a chop. This you kind of want finer due to the fact that um, you don't want a giant piece of beef in your mouth. Alright, so now we have our chopped cilantro, our coriander, and uh, we're just going to add this to the, our bowl. We finished with that. We're now going to begin the process of cutting up our avocados. So now we're going to take our avocados and we're going to begin the process of cutting them open. For, um, for our purposes, we're going to use only four. They should come out with a nice, vibrant, green color. Remove the pit. Now we're just going to scoop our avocado. And we're going to go ahead and place it within our bowl. We're going to do four at a time so that way it doesn't get too full. Four halves, and you're just gonna 
Smash that up. So now we're going to add our tomato. And uh, a tip for cutting this, you're going to cut on all sides except the core. The core is always the hardest part. And uh, we just don't want to lose that, so we're just going to toss that. I also like to scoop out the, uh, the juices. And that just leaves us with the actual tomato itself. So we're just going to scoop that out. So now that we've cut up all our tomatoes, we're going to mix it in with the remaining cilantro. Well, this makes a semi-pico. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead and add half, about half of this in right now, and then we'll add the rest once we're finished. We're gonna grab our lemon lime squeezer. Cheap, you can get these for like five bucks at Walmart. Roll around our lime. And you wanna use limes, not lemons, but if you don't have limes, lemons are uh, a nice substitute. But these have uh, almost a tartier kind of flavor. And now we're just gonna add it to our bowl. Finally, the last part of our chopped tomatoes. Give it a good mix. And there you have it. Simple, easy guacamole. With simple ingredients, you can make a masterpiece. Thanks for joining me on Everyday Mexican. We'll see you next time.